Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second scenario of the Lithuanian campaign, No Man's Land. Come to the East. Do God's work and be rewarded not only with nebulous concepts of salvation and eternity, but also with land and plunder. That was the promise of the Teutonic Order, and the reason that they could rely on a steady supply of battle-hungry knights. Christians of low noble birth who were easily tempted to try their luck in Lithuania. It was a scheme as ingenious as it was devious, and far from the holy mission that they spoke of publicly. After the Saracens ousted them from their holy land and stripped away their Middle Eastern estates, these crusaders now planted their iron heels on our backs to sate their lust for blood and plunder. When Algirdas was forced to deal with the defiant city-states of Ruthenia wreaking havoc on the Lithuanian borderlands, the opportunistic Teutons saw a chance to invade our homeland yet again. Believing that western Lithuania lay open while Algirdas was occupied in the east, they marched into our lands. They were not expecting to face Kestutis, who had stayed behind to hold the heartland, but Kestutis was expecting them, and lay in wait, eager to teach these sword-swinging marauders a lesson. All right, we need to put an end to the Teutonic Order's assaults by destroying at least two of its castles, burn down the monasteries in Bryansk to rob the city of its relics and force its inhabitants to surrender, and burn down the monasteries in Kursk to rob the city of its relics and force its inhabitants to surrender again. All right, so burning down monasteries, destroying castles. Hopefully we'll get siege. Pop limit 200. Looks like we're in castle age. Doesn't say anything about our age. Algirdas in the southeast. Castutus led his followers to the west to invade the lands of the Teutonic Order. A large river separates both camps, preventing our forces from uniting initially. Uh, docks and ships cannot be built again. I wonder if we'll have some conversions <laughs> to get more ships like last time. Uh, we gain... Okay, we'll have relics in this scenario. And we can subdue the weaker cities. Uh, Bryant skin in particular is easy prey. And will not advance damp. Okay, Algirdas is in the east, while Castutus is up here. We're in the west. Oh, wait, no, this is this is Algirdas there, and Castutus is over there. All right. Teutonic Order has three fortresses across the center and west. Uh, Teutonic Knights and Crossbows, Cap Rams, and Trebs. Okay. So, not too much to worry about. The Laciae. The Laciae can punch through the armor of the Teutonic Knights. The Livonian Order is an ally of the Teutonic Order and will likely assist the uh, makes. Uh, knights, infantry, skirms, and siege. And in the northeast, to uh, to conquer Ruthenia, Algidas must subdue the hardy inhabitants of Vrynsk and Kursk. Uh, see, they make some units. Nothing notable there. War word has it, Microsoft Word has it, that the Tatar refugees from the Kipchak steppes have fled west from the Golden Horde, seeking our permission to settle at the border. Okay. I will once again deal with the haughty crusader bandits who foolishly invade our realm. I leave Rutinia to you, Algidas. Neither the fanatical order nor the battle-hardened Rutinians can oppose us. If we remain united and keep our ranks disciplined, onwards! Okay. So can we go to Imp? We can go to Imp. Okay, my cursor is locked in my window. I am recording. Well, it's good to check that you are recording. Uh, let's... I don't have a market. Uh, let's get a market. Let's get some farms going. We already have two TCs. Third down on that stone. And there's deer. You see, I'm, I'm pressing the hotkey to uh, let the units out, but they're not getting out. That's a bug. It's still in DE, and they still haven't fixed it. All right. That will do some heavy plow before making any farms. 
We won three TCs. Hold there. These are the castles for us to destroy. Okay. So I guess we need to be very careful that we don't lose our base on this side of the map because I don't think we would be able to rebuild it. Let's move over here. Also start adding in farms. Here. Guys there. The mills being produced. And every plot is going to be very nice to have. Wood. Do we have the wood upgrade? We need the wood upgrade. Wood upgrade is pretty crucial to have. Right, so we'll just boom for a bit. As scouts, we can scout with them. Wood. Scouting. Here and up here. Hell can be scouting too. Four is there. Some uh, livestock over here. What upgrade, yay. This is the uh, spam the scout units part of the campaign. Like there's Kursk. So I guess we'll start by... Oh, what is that? That is a fortified tower. That's a big fortified tower for the Teutons. Someone decided to make some graphics. Don't don't you be laming my sheep with that scout. Getting up there. We see it seems like we're pretty limited over here due to those fortresses. Old and we'll probably be attacked soon, so we should probably think about getting some uh army. There is, uh, oh, there's no gates or anything there. Y'all are done. That going. Some more wood. Camp over here somewhere. Click, there we go. Oh, where is a boyar? Don't attack us, please. Alright, I think our boom is going pretty well. Oh, we're being attacked by crossbows. Okay, we can deal with that. Fall into them. Could have been a better lumber camp, but it's not the thickest of wood lines there. One more TC there. Here and that gold. And then 5 TC boom should be sufficient for us. I hope. Some handcart going pretty soon. Also one more lumber camp down here. Okay, so we'll 5 TC boom, go imp, and then attack. And maybe we'll concentrate on these fortresses here first, because I'll, I want to destroy all three of them, just for the sake of completeness. It's gold and whatnot up here. My scout that was... I had scouting is now chasing that scout. Can we 
Please, and flee the Khan with whom we feuded. Will you give us? Oh, I'll ally them. Settle here and escape in his wrath. Our eternal gratitude is yours, Lithuanians. Set up camp within your realm and fight your enemies. Well, let's hope that this uh, doesn't come back to bite us. Uh, so, very clearly, I would destroy those two fortresses and not that one, because they're in the easier to access part of the map. I don't know if there's something there that I'm missing. Oh, let's do handcart. Oh, Cursed advanced to imp. Oh, I was supposed to attack them early because they're not an imp. Where are y'all going? Oh, I guess I can destroy the Teutons to cross the river and drain up our forces. Okay, well, it seems like we're doing okay with our scouting so far. That will get up a castle and near our gold. Back going to imp. We need more vills on gold. So let's put more vills on gold. Packed Odin and Kursk. Stary. Oh, we should we should kill. Let's kill Kursk so we can get their relics. Actually, then we'll worry about going up. Do we have a monastery? No. And remember, Lithuanians are changed now, so we'll get winged hussars instead of normal hussars. We'll have to figure out what they do. Oh, we have a university already, so we don't need the castle to go up. We just need a monastery. All right. Well, we can go up now. Hill forts, sure. Upgrades while we're booming. Go up to about 140 vils. That ought to be good. Monk. Oh, husbandry. Oh, we're being attacked here. We got a hero unit. That hero unit should win that. Finish that stable. Oh, and we can get another castle up over here, in front of our gold there. Can't build lumber camps on that wood there, for whatever reason. We also have a castle here. We're almost up. You get up, it will be time for Trebs, I think. Oh, you are making lots of knights. We're up. I think we're good on villagers now. Not good on farms. Still could use a few more. Castle for now, do a castle attack upgrades. Also, be sure to make plenty of winged hussars. Let's see if we can focus the pikes. We should win that pretty convincingly. Yep. Oh, we even have our monk there to heal. Perfect. Alright, now let's go steal some relics. I don't know what side of the river I want to put the castle on yet. And let's hope that these Tatars don't betray us. 
Like, like oh, you already betrayed us. You're stealing our geese. Okay, yeah, we won't do the cav arches this time since we are in imp. Could use probably some scouting of this area. Yeah, if you want to scout that area for us, that'd be lovely. It is got there. Very importantly, we'll do all eco upgrades. Oh, we can train Kipchaks, yay. Some castle upgrades, conscription, yay. Okay, that's just forest there. They're attacking us here, you guys go there. That upgrade would be nice. We should do guilds and then we'll sell food. Stables over here too. And let us go now. Start attacking those monasteries. I did cavalier, didn't I? I did. All right. I don't think I have my monk left anymore. Oh, they're trapping us. Repair. Okay, ooh, someone had been using the market. What's the other thing? Tower shields, right? I don't think we'll need that. That treb, okay, that's defended. We lost everything there. That's okay. We'll have our kip check soon. Okay, let's uh, maybe just get up. Oh no, we just missed it. At all. I thought it was safe. Let's start going towards the winged hussars because it looks like we'll be struggling for gold a bit here. Hussars will probably be nice over here. Like moon, sure. The castle. Yeah, Cuban mercenaries from the Tatars. I think we wasted them all. Probably should have attacked Kursk while they were. Oh, the winged Hussar is more expensive than Hussar. 30 fills on gold, and it feels like we have no one on gold. Well, I think our food is gold enough for now. Our monk's down. That latest there. Winged Hussars, yes. Hope we're running into their fortress. Oh no. Let's get sure. Get some trebs. I guess I'm not gonna be gonna build walls or towers. Right now we'll finally get some relics. Oh look at those birds flying in the formation there. Pretty. That might be a scripted event, like the birds fly in formation when you get there. Okay, let's look at these winged hussars. They get 9 plus 2, 100 HP, fully upgraded with 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 4 armor. Let's just take a fight and see how they do. Okay, those not ready to fight there, clearly. Oh, you got a castle? Oh, we will need some trebs over here. Yeah, let's get another castle over... Oh, we got a monk there. Hill. Oh, 
Let's get lots of stables up for when we need to spam more units. Kind of hard to split your population up and still have a good spam going. Oh, uh, let's protect this castle so we don't have a doubt castle. Okay, heal the vills there. Oh wait, the Kipchaks were inside the castle. All right, good. Try right, to do armor for them. Heresy and maybe faith in case they get any ideas about monks. Oh, hello. Now we can actually besiege the monastery properly. Try to go full Laetus. Or, or full Lacie. We're running out of gold soon, though. One monk where or one monastery going down, where is the monks? There's our monks. Perhaps that castle is going up so slowly. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm liking this scenario. There's a Kipchak, so they should be on the hill, not fighting in melee. You can use the trebs to converge, of course. Jack's fired troop of new arrows, so they should wreck there. Oh, crib, please. Keep the winged hussars running. We got the monk there still. Good. Uh, you actually, you, you look kind of weaker. We got your own fortified tower architecture. We gotta start besieging that castle. Oh, we can do bombard towers. Oh, wait, wait, do we, do we get the, uh... This is one of those scenarios where I'm not gonna say, I don't know if they're gonna limit us from building gunpowder or not. Oh, there's gold over here. Take that. Now we're up to a decent number of farmers, we're at about 70. Oh no, don't, don't lose the trebs to stray units. Archer armor, sure. Those things probably won't be useful. Faith might be useful. We have monasteries, of course. Step the treb. You went to a spot where you can't attack our enemies and you're just gonna sit there and do nothing. Great. <laughs> Where are the trebs? More trebs. Sars. Those guys a chance to shine. Can't build on these hills for some reason. They're just built around that mill. Sars. That monastery. Oh, we got the conversion successfully, yes. The Teutons aren't attacking us, are they? I just have this one stable that somehow is hockeyed on the board. Oh, you. There. Stop that. <laughs> a bunch of trebs and a few Lacia in there. Monk, get the next relic. Where is the relic? There we are. That, bring it to the monastery. You're probably not going to make it. More monk techs.
Oh, we can get bombard cannons, yes. Yeah, I guess this is uh, late enough that maybe gunpowder makes sense. Have some early cannons. Definitely more than Elsid, at least. Uh, look at our monk trying to pathfind his way to that relic and not making it. Well, you can come. Yeah, let's finish off purple completely. Like we're just about there. All around there. There's more. Oh, we finally picked up the relic. Good. This is where we really do need the uh, the cannons of the rams. So the trebs are too slow at taking out buildings. We gotta continue packing and unpacking them. Let's go for that monastery though. Ooh, they got another castle. Low trebs can take that out. That monastery. Keeps sure. Herbal medicine in case we gotta heal. Oh, we got redemption. We can actually you do the convert the dock thing to scenario. Yes. I just build the monastery here so we don't gotta walk all that way. It's a smarter thing. Being attacked here by a Teutonic Knight. Have your hard counter though. Can we garrison that TC? Called arrows. <laughs> it's even better than ignoring armor. Oh. No, no, I want to convert your dock first. No. No, I don't accept your surrender. I want your docks. Oh, time to do the same thing to... Actually, uh... The primary objective. Let's concentrate on the other side first. Or actually, let's take, like, one of your relics at least, then concentrate on the other side. That castle, yeah, let's go get that monastery. All you trebs, you come over here. I got the Teutons. Do some paladins. Start making stables over here. <laughs> oh, we are being attacked. Sad winged Hussar is over here. But Trevin, these keeps. Always annoying to deal with towers and campaigns. That relic. Cannons over. Let's stay there. Now we can start attacking buildings with these units. I don't think we can attack a castle with winged hussars. Should I take out all that stuff there? Oh, a Crusader Knight! Look at that. Team plus four. Uh, the Trebs cannot hit these city walls. Oh! Wait. Okay, yeah, I guess I can. Stand there, wait for the monastery to go up. <laughs> Teutonic Knights and Crusader Knights. I guess Teutonic Knights are a good uh, counter to the Winged Hussars. I will say that. Oh, Yellow's helping. Yes. I am so glad I allowed you to settle in our lands. You have not betrayed me so far, and you're helping me. Good job being an ally. 
Oh, but there's a dock we can convert. Yes, 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 yes. Yellow, you'd better not destroy that dock. Yes, 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 get a monk, get a monk, get a monk. Take out that fortress. No, don't forget the pop limit. You, there, give me a monk. Check the trebs. Here, here, here. Oh no, there might be like a Roman army from Attila IV in this one. No, 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 don't, don't attack the dock. No, 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 we have a monk. Gonna convert it. Yes. Okay, good, you're going for the tower. Good job, tower. Good job being a distraction. Oh, we're getting a dock. We are getting a dock. No, you delete it immediately. No. The dark forces of scenario designers destroying docks when we try to convert them. <laughs> All right, uh, we can probably just treb that castle from the outside. Try that. Up here and we'll do some trebbing. Attack! Make short work of them! Nobiscum Deus! Using a cannon there. The knights of the Livonian Order have arrived in the north. In the north? That they've even brought siege weapons. Oh. Okay. And Hussar time. <laughs> Let's try to find them. Some more. Okay, it's just paladins. Oh, and Teutonic Knights and Elite Skirmishers. Yeah, it's not too worrying. Let's go for the, uh, the siege. Should have blocked that off. I guess that's what the swamp terrain is. It doesn't let you block them. There, are, there's other tricks to blocking units, even if swamp terrain is there. That relic, please. Oh no, don't you let them destroy the monastery. No, wait. Oh, that's a bombard cannon. For a second I thought the monastery was shooting cannonballs and I was like, did I accidentally mess something up when I was doing that projectile video? Leave it on. <laughs> Next castle. Oh, Kursk is paying tribute to us, yay. I think my winged hussars. We have no choice but to retreat to Prussia. And leave your treb there. Oh, you only give me two of them. I want to attack the third. It's right there. Let's just scout there. See what, see what's there. So we do have 16 plus 6 attack, which is quite nice. At least it's not plus 8 like it used to be. You just keep spamming these... Uh, ...Saras until they eventually kill the Teutonic Knights. We'll need more spam for that. Looks like we probably can safely... If we had a couple of trebs here, we could... Do we still have a cannon? We don't. Let's 
some cannons. Let's just add some paladins to the hussars. We've almost taken them out. <laughs> They're just, uh, apparently they have lots of melee armor because they're Teutons. We don't have quite enough, uh, Lacia to deal with them. Let's go for that monastery. I think you'll be able to get it. Okay, we've almost gotten them. They can't fight forever. Next round of reinforcements come down here. No. We've just removed everything from there. No, you still have some units there. And you do still have that castle there. Let's see if we can tread that down still, even though you're defeated. The Livonian assault. The day is ours. Alright, now just uh still attacking me there. Hopefully don't you don't go after my trebs. I just want to see what happens if that castle goes down. I would like to get this base too. Just for the aesthetics of having the base. Go, castle, go, super speed. It's on a hill, so it's not going to center when I press that button. Oh, there's the Trebs, yes. Go, Trebs. Knock it down. More stuff down here. Knock down. Oh, no, it became ours, yes. Okay, we do capture the base, though, if we destroy the castle. That's good to know. Not very useful, but good to know. Oh, no, don't attack my cannons from the rear. Just delete all the idols. Everything else can come down here. And Yellow, I hope we don't have to fight Yellow at the end. Yellow's been such a useful ally. And it looks like they don't even betray us. The Winged Hussars, I don't think they have as much attack as normal Hussars since we don't get Blast Furnace. So they probably are sieves with standard Hussars that are better than the Lithuanians with the winged Hussars. And it is kind of a, a detriment that the upgrade is more expensive than the standard Hussar upgrade. Hold open the... Oh! Let them go through the gate so we can open it. Stop training cavalry. I need cannons. Enough farmers just make cannons. And oh, do not attack my cannon. No. Bad long swordsman. And as you can see, oh, we're going to. Oh, no, no, no. Open the gate, open the gate. Fortified walls take quite a bit of attacking to go down. In attack the monastery. When that goes down, we should win. Just got a monk there if we want to collect the relic. There we are. Alas, we will suffer in never end. Stepping you into is this dispute, huh? We must submit to all Girdas and Kestitis. Got up. But I think that's everything we need to do. Wicked crusaders are defeated, and Ruthenia is subdued. But our success will not have gone unnoticed. The spies of the Golden Horde are everywhere. In our allied camp. The Grand Master of the Order had greatly underestimated the resourceful brothers. 
It seemed that Algirdas and Kestutis were invincible whenever they joined forces. Exasperated, the Teutonic Order was forced to give up its invasion plans. At least for a time. The war with the Order was a long and bloody affair. But in the end, Kestutis repelled the invaders. He was thenceforth known as the Steadfast for his stubborn defense and loyalty to his brother. Once Algirdas arrived to help, the brothers even managed to conquer several important Teutonic fortresses. But their quick triumph made steadfast Kestutis careless. During a skirmish, retreating crusaders captured and dragged him to one of the Teutonic border fortresses. Perhaps the Crusaders even put chains on him, like those that we wear right now. I like to think that they did. But, in any case, Kestutis did not remain a prisoner for long. With the help of a loyal servant, he broke a hole in the three-meter-thick wall of his cell, while Algirdas distracted the Crusader guards with a feigned attack. In the chaos that ensued, Kestutis left the castle on horseback, dressed as a Teutonic knight. Okay, that's a lot of kills. I like that scenario. So I think probably the smart thing is to attack some of these outlying monasteries at the start to get the exposed relics. And then when you get Imp, start... I'd say you should shred these castles, but it also triggers Orange to attack. So maybe you want to finish off these two before dealing with Grey. I really like how the map is very snowy over here in the west and then gradually becomes warmer and changes in the east. Like, there's still a bit of snow, but it's very grassy over here. And you can even see that in the rivers, kind of down here in the southeast, where there's the reeds and the water, compared to up here where it's all icy. I guess there's still are reeds, but that's more of a... Like, it's a very different use of the reeds. Here, there's kind of like a warm climate reed. Here, they're just kind of like... stuff that's growing on the bridges. Hundred and forty villagers, the perfect number to boom to with five TCs. Alright, anyway, that's it for the uh, second scenario. We'll do the third one next. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.